Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my math video. Welcome to Fanta's math lesson for Monster Super League. Now, before I start, I need to warn you guys. I'm not, I'm not all too good at math. I would, I wouldn't say. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually quite bad at math. Like I, I dropped out of my first college because I actually failed math twice. And, but yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're just gonna do this right now, and we're gonna do the math and if if it's really really bad then I, I I know someone will be in the comment correcting me if I ever make a mistake in one of my calculations but I I don't think I made a mistake this time um, things are pretty good like I think there's I think I think I think it's good all right I, I, I really do I think I think this time this time the uh, the math is is right okay so basically uh, I will run you guys through through the math and if I make a mistake, then you guys can let me know. Uh, so if you look behind me, and you can actually um, rewind this video back and forth because I basically am using that as kind of my background. Um, I will be showing the math on screen as well. But basically, um, the I did 10 runs of Star Sanctuary and I did 10 runs of Slumbering City and I recorded it and it's currently being played behind me right now. And um, basically, in, in Star Sanctuary, I did, after doing 10 runs, I got an average of 4,223 gold. Um, and after 10 runs of Slumbering City, I found that I, ha I got an average of 6,026 gold. Um, and this was just from, you know, selling the gems plus the actual gold stage. As you can see, for, for um, Slumbering City, I'm running it with... Um, a Jin, a Water Miho, a Wood Nightmare, and a Light Victoria. Maybe you can't see, but if you if you look at the video later, um, you will be able to see. Because I'm basically just playing it behind me, just so you guys can use it as a, uh, just to show you guys as evidence of uh, how I didn't I didn't fuck with anything. Like I didn't collect any quests. My gem inventory was completely empty before I sold the gems. So the comparison is definitely like correct all right it's it's exactly 10 runs like you can see right behind me um and the i farmed it with my most efficient team that's also my most efficient team because i needed the wood nightmare to take aggro of all the fire monsters i needed my water miho to take the aggro of all the wood monsters and my light victoria to take the aggro of all the dark monsters this way my fire gen is never targeted he never gets a tack down on him and he's able to um He's not actually able to one-shot everything on, on uh, Slumbering City. Sometimes he doesn't kill the molars, but um, most of the time he is able to one-shot everything. So uh, that that is actually pretty nice. So I can actually farm in the same time, relatively um, around the same time as when I'm farming Star Sanctuary, as you can see behind me, um, of all the runs and run times. Now, um, there's, a little, there's a little bit of... Uh, kind of reverse math, like calculating um, astrogems, like kind of going in reverse and calculating um, how much how much gold I get per astrogem. And then I basically times that by 100. And after 100 astrogems, if it is more than 3,300 and yeah, 300, 330,000 gold, if it's more than 330,000 gold, then you will know that um, you basically passed a threshold in order to, to make an income. Um, in terms of in terms of astrogem gain or gold gain, it's kind of the same thing because astrogem is convertible into gold. If you don't know how to convert astrogems into gold, you can check out my guide of how to infinitely farm astrogems. Um, basically, you can take your gold, um, evolve slimes, and then there's a repeatable quest that allows you to collect astrogems, and you can infinitely do that to basically make the premium like currency of this game. So. The, the purpose of doing this math is to, to, to see if you're, we're able to actually um, profit from farming Slumbering City in terms of astrogem gain. So we're going to go into uh, basically with 6,600 if I were to um, if I were to divide that, if I were to take 6,000, 6, uh, not 6,600, 6,026 and I divide that by um, by five because five is the amount of of energy needed in order to do the stage then i get 
I get um, 1,205. So this is actually um, 1,205 is the is the amount of gold I gain per energy spent on the stage. Now, because extreme mode takes five energy, so I basically divide that by five. Hopefully, that's easy enough to follow. Um, next part is a little bit hard to follow. Basically, right now I'm going to convert. Um, astrogems into energy and as you can tell um, if you're refilling with astrogems basically 30 astrogems equals to 80 energy you use 30 astrogems to refill and it gives you 80 energy back so basically it's uh, you know it's 8 divided by 3 and that is that gives you 2.6666 like you know all the way um, easy way to do that is basically you take the um, take take what we got before which was um, 600 and 6,026, wait, divided by 5, you take 1,205 and you um, you times that by 2.66 basically, or you times that by 8 and then divide that by 3, and that will give you um, 3,213.866, you know, 66 all the way, 67, six, um, and if you were to multiply that by a hundred because that is the, that number is the amount of um, amount of gold that you get per astrogem spent so um, you times that number by 100 you get a total of 321,387 which basically means that um, you don't make as much as like you're under the the point of making 330,000 um, gold which means that you will, you are actually losing or, or bleeding a bit you are losing an astrogem gain every single time that you're you're farming slumbering city now um, I want you guys to keep in mind this is not the this is not exact because everybody is farming slumbering city with a different team this is only for my team my team takes um, an average of 40 seconds to farm and because of the nature of my team how I'm relying on my fire gen to one shot the waves um, I'm not getting as many hits one of the mechanics in the game it basically um, gold gain is based on the number of hits that you do on the enemy so if you have all four units charging up their bars all doing their AoE you will definitely get more hits and get more gold so if you have a slower run um, than mine chances are you will actually get more gold um, because it's taking you more it's maybe taking you um, you know instead of one turn to clear the whole entire wave it's taking you two turns or it's taking you two monsters with their AoEs up in order to clear the whole entire wave so this is only relevant relevant to me um, or relevant to basically someone that has almost reached the uh, I, I'm not exactly at the point of um, maximum efficiency in terms of farm time but very very I'm already very very close to maximum efficiency in terms of farm time um, so basically with this um, I take 330,000 3, 3, I divide that by the number we got which um, three 321,387 um, and I basically get a number of 0, 1.0267 so meaning that I get a 2.67% loss every single time I am farming slumbering city and converting that gold back into um, astrogems so yeah that is that is pretty much it that is that is the math for slumbering city um it took me a while to make this it's kind of going to be a very short video but hopefully i didn't make any mistakes in my math if i did um but I, I don't have to tell you guys to point it out you guys are gonna like tear me apart in the comments uh, <laughs> but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um i want to do more tests i want to actually try out some more things in terms of trying to get more hits in order to basically boost up my gold gain and see if I, I'm able to maybe bleed a little bit less or maybe um, earn a little bit more in order to break even in terms of um, astrogem gain. So basically um, for someone that's using like a siphon, a single siphon monster to farm slumbering city, um, well for me I'm running two siphon, I'm actually running three siphon units because my water meat who I switched her to siphon as well. Um, your your gold gain is not going to be positive um, if you're farming at like 40 seconds per, per run so yeah that is that is pretty much it um, hopefully if you guys have some some maths like if you guys did like a hundred runs and you want me to do the math for you um, you you can 
yeah, you can you can give me that, or maybe I can even make a calculator that's like a formula basically. You just plug in your your math and then punch in some numbers, and we can you can get the you can calculate your gold gain or something like that. Um, but anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, yeah, happy farming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.